Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Darkseid. He made his first appearance in Superman's Pal, Jimmy Olsen, issue number 134 in December of 1970. His real name is Yuxus, and he stands eight feet nine inches tall and weighs 1,815 pounds, having red eyes and no hair. Now, Darkseid is one of the most powerful beings in the DC Universe, and he comes from a race known as the New Gods. One of his most used powers are his Omega Beams, which is a type of energy that's projected from his eyes or from his hands as a concussive force. These Omega Beams are able to completely annihilate living organisms from existence. They're extremely fast and effective. Only the fastest of beings have ever been noted as avoiding them, and only a very few superpowered beings such as Superman and Doomsday have shown to be resistant to the beams when they've been hit, although Superman has a great deal of pain when it happens. It's also been shown that Orion has the ability to deflect them, and in a crossover story with Marvel, Galactus was unaffected by them. Now these Omega Beams can also resurrect those that have been previously killed by them, depending on whatever Darkseid's will is. He also has pinpoint accuracy of his beams, being able to shoot them in a straight line or to bend and curve around corners or even pass through certain forms of matter or other energy before hitting his target. The beams themselves come from a unique form of cosmic energy called the Omega Effect. Darkseid also possesses a formidable intellect, being able to make use of apocalyptic technology known as mother boxes and to project boom tubes for interdimensional travel. He has godlike strength that is almost completely off the charts, being able to easily overpower most beings that he comes across. He's been shown breaking a lantern ring with his bare hands, and he's easily beaten two Kryptonians at the same time, including beating the entire Justice League at the same time. He's also extremely fast, occasionally being able to catch Superman off guard. And even when he's not at full power, he's been shown to be able to hold his own against an Olympian god such as Zeus. Darkseid also has the ability to increase his physical size, and he has additional powers such as telepathy and telekinesis, also being able to create psionic avatars. Being a new god, he's also functionally immortal, having lived for several hundred thousand years. And he has been shown to regenerate from being completely disintegrated, making him extremely hard to kill. But despite his extreme physical power, he rarely engages in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He instead likes to use his intellect to manipulate or control others, often preferring to break the will of others and subjugate them rather than destroy them outright. And more recently, Darkseid has been shown to be able to drain the life force of other godlike beings in order to rejuvenate himself and return to full power. With this ability, it's shown that demigods are able to slowly rejuvenate him, but a full out god like Zeus can easily return him back to his original form. Now, as I stated earlier, Darkseid's original name is Yuxus, and he's the youngest son of Yuga Khan, who happens to be the one being that he's terrified of. Yuxus resented the authority that the old gods had, and being rebellious and cunning, he whispered lies and words of hate into the old gods' ears. Eventually, due to the prodding of his deceit, the old gods fought and killed each other, and as they died, Yuxus stole their powers to become a new god, named Darkseid. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Darkseid then went to war against his weakened elders, even persuading his good-natured older brother, Isaiah, also known as High Father, to reluctantly join him. Naturally, this made an enemy of their father, Yuga Khan, and when the father and sons finally battled for the first time, Yuga Khan was killed by Darkseid, ending the rule of the old gods. In the aftermath of this conflict, the dying Sky God passed the last traces of his power to Isaiah, also transforming him into a new god named High Father. High Father then tried to convince Darkseid that they should usher in a new age of enlightenment together, but Darkseid refused, destroying their world. High Father then left to create a planet named New Genesis, which he ruled over in peace. Darkseid, however, made Apocalypse, which was an industrial hellish type world populated by his engineered parademon troopers and cruel new god minions. After setting up his planet, Darkseid embarked on a multi-dimensional campaign of conquest, seeking the anti-life equation, the one cosmic formula that would allow him to eliminate free will and control reality. Planet after planet fell before his might, and their inhabitants were enslaved or fed into flesh recycling plants. The alternate world of Earth 2 did manage to stave off an invasion, although its versions of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman had to sacrifice their lives in the process. 
Darkseid's armies then launched an attack on Earth Zero, using boom tubes to create teleportation portals and attack multiple sites at the same time. They were also challenged by that Earth's champions, including Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern Hal Jordan, The Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg. These heroes held their own against the attacking parademons, but when Darkseid himself emerged from a boom tube, they found themselves outmatched. But just as Darkseid was about to claim victory, Earth's champions regrouped and launched a furious counterattack, seriously wounding Darkseid. Superman then had to use all of his strength to force Darkseid into a boom tube, which sent him back to Apocalypse. This was one of Darkseid's most humiliating defeats, and being heavily weakened, he sealed himself inside the Mobius chamber at Apocalypse's core, tapping into the planet's energies to heal himself. With Apocalypse now deteriorating, he set it on a course for Earth 2 again, planning to drain its life energies to replenish his world. Meanwhile, Darkseid's estranged foster son, Mr. Miracle, launched a stealth attack on Apocalypse and found Darkseid in the Mobius chamber. Mr. Miracle tried to kill him with boom spheres that were invented by Mr. Terrific, but these only freed Darkseid. Now being back at full power, Darkseid used a terraformer to begin harvesting Earth 2 to replenish Apocalypse. And now only a very small force of Earth 2 superheroes confronted him, but they proved to be no match for him. This world was then left in his grasp, to be consumed at his leisure. He went on to declare war on Earth-1, but was opposed by Mr. Miracle and Marina Black, who was an Amazon who had secretly given birth to his daughter, whom she had plotted to use against him. Naming his daughter Grail, Marina had sent her child to find a being who could defeat Darkseid, and Grail had returned with the cosmic force of annihilation, the Anti-Monitor. Darkseid and the Anti-Monitor had an epic battle on Earth, and their conflict threatened to even destroy the planet itself. As the two of them fought, the Anti-Monitor revealed that the Anti-Life Equation, which was the ultimate power Darkseid had thirsted for, actually ran within his veins. At that, the Anti-Monitor used the very embodiment of death itself, Black Racer, who had also possessed the Flash, to kill Darkseid. But after Grail killed the Anti-Monitor using the Anti-Life Equation-powered Steve Trevor, she would resurrect Darkseid through the newborn child of Superwoman. This child having the abilities to take the powers of others, he took the abilities of the Justice League, Grail fusing them with the child and bringing Darkseid back to life, although he was under her complete control. A time after this, while Darkseid was slowly maturing, he successfully conceived and carried out a plan to lure Zeus himself into a one-on-one -on -one battle. During this confrontation is when Darkseid actually drained and killed Zeus himself, these absorbed powers being sufficient to restore Darkseid back to his original self. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Darkseid a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.